Hi everyone and welcome back to my desk. If you've been following my projects for a while, you've probably noticed that I lack the option to securely place PCBs on my desk so I can solder on. And in the past I've been using this helping hand where I can attach the PCB to a crocodile clip and then I can use the soldering iron and solder to do some work on. But to be honest, I was always kind of afraid of this because the teeth on the crocodile clips are kind of sharp. I'm always scared that I'm going to damage some of the components on the board. So I've never been too keen on using it. And also when we are soldering, if you push laterally on it, yeah, it tends to either rotate either at the clip or at the base, which is quite heavy, but I've added this rubber underneath because without it it just um, I'm barely using any force so as soon as you touch it it goes away so in this video I decided to change that and make a PCB vise that hopefully will be a lot more helpful now the way that I plan to solve this is by 3d printing a PCB vise and I was looking online to find a suitable model I'm nowhere near skilled enough to design my own at the time because I'm all new to 3d printing I just recently managed to get access to a 3d printer that I paid for entirely it's being used by my wife at her business and I have access to it so I can print stuff and this is one of the first thing that I printed here it's all of the parts that we're gonna use to make this uh, PCB vise and if we go to the computer so this is the model that I found on Thingiverse I'll have the link down in the video description it's a pro PCB vise made by Vilekel if I'm saying that correctly based on the images it looks kind of functional and interesting because it has these jaws that can extend in the front and the whole piece here in the bottom will be able to rotate so we can position the PCB in many different angles. Hopefully we'll see if it works or not. Now there are some other PCB vices that I found on Tinjuverse and other sites that I really like. Like this one for example that has a rubber band to provide the uh, holding strength for the PCB. But what I don't like about this one in particular is that there is no ability that you can flip the board without taking it out of the enclosure and you can either have it laying flat on one side and or the other so you could not add this uh, to an angle and sometimes since i'm working to, with through hole components i'll need to have the component on one side and be able to flip the board so i can solder it from the other this one will not work so will stick to the one that I choose. I understand that uh, some of you will not have a 3D printer and I was part of your group until recently, but there are companies out there that can help you out with that, uh, like PCBWay, which happens to be the sponsor of this video. Whether you're looking to create custom enclosures, mechanical parts, or complete prototypes, PCBWay has you covered with a variety of 3D printing technologies and materials like ABS, PLA, resins, different metals, and even titanium. Using their platform is super easy. You just upload your 3D model, select your material and finish options, and you'll get an instant quote. At the moment, they're running their Christmas sale with a lot of free coupons, free Christmas prototypes, discounts of up to 50%, and a ton of other cool surprises available only till the end of the month. So, if you're ready to take your project to the next level, head over to the link in the description below to check out PCBWay services. To start with the assembly, there are some instructions on the model itself on Thingiverse, but at the beginning they were kind of not clear, so in this video I'll try to go through all of the steps and what we'll need to make it work. So these are all the printed parts. We have the base, we have the um, rolling base, if I can call it like that. We have, we have two knobs, one on each side. We have the sliding jaw, this one goes and fits inside here and we have the grips for the uh, PCB and this can be mounted right like this uh, they would they will definitely stay in place with friction fit but I'm gonna glue them on the beginning because I want to be able to use this on the tips so even if I have the PCB here I don't want this to cause a, like a leverage effect and separate them off the jaws 
this one is in particular a bit sketchy and not staying in place and if you push on the end with enough force it will uh, remove it so now it's working okay but as an added measure I'm gonna glue them with some super glue gonna add some glue to the jaw and to the other side Okay, let's hold that in place for a few seconds until it sticks. In fact, I'm gonna add a clamp while we start and work on the threaded rod. Uh, you will need about 180 millimeters of threaded rod and five M5 nuts. So I'm gonna add two at the end because with one of the knobs we want to have this rod fixed to the knob so it turns the entire rod and here on the end I'm gonna use some pliers to secure both of them into each other okay so the other way around So now they are pressed together and I'm going to also use a bit of glue in one of the knobs so that it sits here at the end. I'm, I'll probably run out of glue so I'm going to need to get another one. And that should be good like that. We'll leave that on for a few seconds until it dries up. Now for the other knob, I'm gonna add just a tiny bit of glue inside. Okay, and I'm gonna drop one of the nuts inside. Okay. I want to press it firmly in the end. We can use some accelerator and that should be now secured at the end. So let's start assembling. So the rod comes from one side and we need to thread in this part. And here we have the sliding vise I'm going to add two nuts on the end, but I won't glue this uh, because they need to align and be able to move together. So they'll need to align with the rod that we will install. Okay, just like that. And we're going to thread this from here and we're going to push the rod until it reaches the nut so we can thread it in okay that should be in on that side and hopefully it still hasn't cut that other one and uh, I think we now have it okay so and the end will now we need to move this jaw so you see that then now the rod is on the other side and if we as we turn this knob this will close it closer and closer okay and at the end we can out the final knob since I cut this from a longer rod the ends are not exactly right for for the nuts but it should come in
Okay, so it appears that I have some super glue here at the hole. Let's try and fix that. I should have been a bit more careful. But I think that this will do. Okay, let's see now. Yep, that should be through now. And yeah, it's already applying pressure. So we can have this at a certain point and tightening this knot will secure it so it stays in place. We need to now release it and we can use the other knob to Okay, we need some pressure here to bring this closer. Now it's definitely not the fastest one to adjust, but hopefully we won't change it that often. the PCB like this and tightening this knob will uh, put more pressure on the PCB but it should be okay we can adjust the angle that we want let's say that we want to work on it like this and using the other knob we can secure it so it stays in place Okay, so on a first look, this seems to work uh, really nicely. I can release the knobs, so I can turn on the PCB more than 180 degrees. Uh, one of the knobs will put more pressure on the PCB. The other one will tighten the rotating jaw in place. But uh, one thing that I could notice is that since this is 3D printed, it's still very light, so I can almost as easily turn as with the other one. I can rotate it if I apply some pressure on the side. So to mitigate this, I have from the same rubber that I'm using on the other grip, I'm gonna cut strips and glue them on the fits below. I think that the better solution will be to add some sort of a metal plate so it provides some weight. I was thinking of using a paver to provide the weight, but I think that that would be too much. Maybe if I find a suitable metal plate, I can uh, retrofit it to the device later on. So for now, let's cut strips that are just under the width of the uh, legs. And this is just a rubber that you would use on um, like a car dashboard. Okay, that's not easy. Let me try and get bigger scissors. This will probably stick on its own, but I'm gonna add some double-sided tape so I can secure it on the plastic piece. So something like this, and then another one like this. Let's peel it. I'm gonna add one more here in the middle. Okay, so that should be in place. Now let's see the difference that it makes. And that is literally like 
day and night so I cannot even yeah I can move it but once it's stuck there I can rotate this obviously it won't stick hold when I lift it up but sideways it's really solid so let's secure the PCB and let's secure this so yeah, it still has some tipping so if we have some weight then it can be much nicer but I think for what it is I think it yeah this way is a lot more solid so I can work on it like this let's release it I can flip it secure the PCB and secure the turning and it's solid much better than it was before here it is with another PCB and it works really well with PCBs that are uh, long like this one or if you want to have more narrow one then we can use the end on this side so the PCB does not flex the jaws we'll see how that goes and uh, how usable it is uh, in the future projects for now I think it works great I'm gonna leave links down in the description for the files as well as for PCB way where you can order this uh, to be 3D printed for you if you don't own a 3D printer since PCB Way can manufacture this with different materials and even metals one consideration if I like the design and I decide to use it in the future uh, one consideration is that I could maybe 3D print this in metal and PCB Way can provide that or even manufacture a custom holding plate for that we'll see how it goes it all depends on if I like this on the long term or not if you have any questions about the device or anything else, feel free to leave them down in the video comments. Make sure to subscribe. If you're interested in more 3D printed projects, then please let me know down in the video comments. And I will see you all in the next one. Cheers.